This is the first time I'm filming a movie while having a new pup sleeping next to me. What can go wrong? Hopefully nothing. I don't know how it's gonna be. It's Ange, and today we're gonna be watching Iron Man! The first thing I'm gonna say here, right now, so that no one will mention it in the comments. It would take probably a year for me to do it. And that's not even including the series that are out right now, the upcoming stuff. Oh, my, it, it would just take forever. I did want to do Iron Man because I'm obsessed with Iron Man. I grew up on this movie. I watched it over and over and over again. Like, I was planning on filming something else, like, first, but I decided to do that one later because I'm way too excited to do this one. So, I moved around my entire schedule just for this movie. <laughs> you guys, come on, it's Iron Man. Let's just go right into it. Before we begin, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. If you haven't yet already, so you can stay tuned to all my content. I post three times a week. Follow me on all my social media. All my handles will be in the description below. And follow me on Twitch. I live stream every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. If you guys want to check out the full length, uncut, unedited, commentary to this video make sure you check out my patreon page so you can get full access to this and future movie slash tv show commentaries that i do on this channel also if you guys want more iron man movies like if you want me to do the second and third one comment it down below <laughs> okay now let's jump straight into the movie <laughs> it's so fun to see how far marvel has come like look at that old marvel studios only two seconds of the comic books of flipping. Bro, take a picture, it lasts longer. What, you're not allowed to talk? Hey, Forrest. Is he referencing Forrest Gump? Having a hard time not looking at you now. <laughs> Robert Downey Jr. is honestly so good at talking. And he's acting at the same time, it's like hard to believe. Is it cool if I take a picture with you? Yes. See, I told you a picture lasts longer. Yeah, peace. I love peace. I'd be out of a job with peace. How ironic. He literally knows I'd be out of a job with peace. Like, the growing starts right now. We are slapped with the theme of this movie immediately from this moment on. Of course, the explosion to make the audience jump and be ready for some crazy action origin story that's about to go down. One of the best origin stories, in my opinion. Wait, 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 wait. give me a gun! Here! And you're donezo. And Iron Man should have been Dunzo too. Actually, I should call him Tony from this point at least. Boy. Oh gosh, how are you alive? Oh my gosh, the old slide phone that did that. What's that called again? Run. Run, bro. And it's by his own weapon too? No way you're alive right now. I don't care what's covering your chest. I don't care what shield of armor, bulletproof, explosive proof thing you got on. Arm, leg, away from your body. Ugh, I love the shot. Legend of the Ten Rings! Or, well, not Legend of the Ten I was just thinking of Shang-Chi, but it started all from here. Isn't that crazy? At age four, he built his first circuit board. We get it, you're good. I like this jazzy music that's going on in the back right now. The passing of a titan. I want someone to narrate my life like this. Obadiah Stane steps in to help fill the gap. The great Obadiah. Today, Tony Stark has- What a pose. He seemed like he was ready for that one. Like, what did the cameraman say? Just like, pretend you're about to get pushed by someone? Whoa. Watch your step, buddy. <laughs> My honor to present this year's Apogee Award. What does Apogee mean? Or is it like a name? Clearly, I couldn't be Tony Stark. Does Caesar's Palace sponsor movies? Or like, or do movies want Caesar's Palace? Because Caesar's Palace is actually the goaded one. <gasps> happy! Look at Happy! Tomorrow, don't be late. Yeah, you can count on. I'm serious. Not him having four bodyguards, including Happy, which is like all you need. Can I ask you a couple of questions? She's cute. She's all right. Hi. He's so annoying, but that's what we love about him. Berkeley? Brown, actually. Miss Ivy League, she said. You rehearse that much? Every night in front of the mirror before bedtime. I'd like to oh, show you firsthand. Geez. Oh, straightforward. Weather in Malibu is 72 degrees with scattered clouds. Jarvis. Oh my god. Before he became Vision. And his old house. Imagine living in that. Like, come on. 
I've got your clothes here. They've been dry cleaned and pressed. That was the fastest dry cleaning and pressing that I've ever heard of in my life. Tony still has you picking up the dry cleaning. What? I don't need that sass. I do anything and everything. Including taking out the trash. Including occasionally taking out the trash. Get wrecked. Try to be on Pepper's level. Come on. You can't because Pepper Potts is goaded. The best. Badass in every way. Okay? Convince me otherwise. You can clearly tell that he loves the color red. The only one that can control Tony, in my opinion. That being my plan and all, that it would just Is this Tony to having a hobby? For the Jackson Pollock in the wings, do you want it, yes or no? I think it's incredibly overpriced. I need it. He's such a show off. Before what are you, you trying to get rid plane? of me for? What do you got, plans? It's her birthday, bro. It's your birthday. Yeah, you asshole. Well, get yourself something nice for me. The little romantic score that's coming in in the back. I want an espresso. Espresso sounds so good right now. I don't even think I finished my cup of coffee this morning. I got caught doing a piece for Vanity Fair. Three hours, you got me standing. Waiting on you now. Bro, waiting on you now. I'd be pissed. It's so good when you, like, don't like a character at first, and then you end up, like, really going through the thick of it with them. That's the best. That's all you can ask for. Eat up the sake, will ya? We're not drinking, we're working right now. You are sashimi with that sake. I want sashimi and my own plane. No, just, I'm not drinking. I don't want any. And then it cuts. I'm talking about Best friends are still best friends, making bad decisions together. They say the best weapon is one you never have to fire. I prefer the weapon you only have to fire once. The bad guys won't even want to come out of their caves. Dude, the script is so good because he literally saying the bad guys won't even want to come out of their caves. Legit hours later, he gets taken into their caves. <laughs> That's something else with script writing. They did such a wonderful job. For your consideration. I the Jericho. The Jericho. And then he gets knocked forward. That's gotta be not safe. I'll be throwing one of these in with every purchase of 500 million or more. 500 million? Oh, I couldn't sleep till I found out how it went. How'd it go? It's like it's gonna be an early Christmas. Hey, I'll see you tomorrow, yeah? I just realized that Obadiah was calling him probably because he's the one, spoiler alert, if you haven't watched this movie already, but he's the one that set this whole thing up, right? Uh, I just realized that probably he was calling to be like, a little bit of an alibi, you know? <sighs> oh, oh, oh no! And y'all thought the COVID tests were bad. Oh, that just makes my nose feel all funky. <gasps> Jensen! Jensen! I moved all the shrapnel I could. So lock that and it's headed into your atrial septum. He did that all in a cave too, with what medical supplies, huh? We call them the Walking Dead. Check out my Walking Dead series on my, my YouTube channel. The one that you're watching right now. A whole playlist. All of season one. That's right. Smile. You're on camera. We met once, you know. Iron Man 3, I remember that too. Where are we? Oh, your mom's house. <laughs> God, I'm so... I'm the worst. I'm the worst. Someone take... Don't let me be a commentator anymore. He wants you to build the missile, hey, the Jericho missile that you demonstrate. Uh, and the You're asking him to build it in this cave with what supplies? Hello? I refuse. <laughs> Eleven from Stranger Things? <laughs> Every time this jump cuts like that now, even with the water thing too, it's so on point. I only think of Eleven from Stranger Things. I love Stranger Things, guys. Check out my Stranger Things commentaries. Okay, I'll stop with the self promo. I'm done. I'm done. For you to start working immediately, and when you're done, he will set you free. No, he won't. No, he won't. No, he won't. What you just saw, that is your legacy, Stark. <laughs> Jensen is amazing. Your life's work in the hands of those murderers. Is that how you want to go out? Or are you going to do something I about I it? do anything that could kill me. You, either way, and if they don't, I'll probably be dead in a week. Well, at least you've done something that matters. This is a very important week for you, isn't it? Yo, not Jensen being like, so effin' what? You're only alive for a week. Not Jensen giving him a, the pep talk of his literal life. The turning point that he needed to become the great Iron Man. Jensen is such a key character. What do I call you? My name is Jensen. Jensen. You didn't ask him his name a little bit sooner. Come on, Tony. It's, it's been a minute. He saved your life. You couldn't have asked him his name, like, the second he did the car battery thing. It's called manners. 
That could warm your heart for 50 lifetimes. Or something big for 15 minutes. This is our ticket out of here. What is it? It's Chonky Man. Got a family? Yes. See them when I leave here. Optimism. And you, Stark? I take back the your mom joke. Full of Seems good. Seems good. The shots of this guy it has been so intimidated. He hasn't even spoken yet. Don't caress me like that. The bow and arrow once was the pinnacle of weapons technology. It allowed the great Genghis Khan to rule from the Pacific to the Ukraine. Someone knows their history. Honestly, I couldn't tell you what my grades were in those classes, but I can guarantee you they probably weren't A's. <laughs> and soon, it'll be my turn. <laughs> You're trying to be Genghis Khan? You're not even leading the real Ten Rings. <laughs> He's your only translator. I need him. Good assistant. You have to tomorrow. Bro. Oh, I totally forgot that he just, he was speaking English to Tony early with the whole Genghis Khan. That just completely slipped through my brain. You're trying to be Genghis Khan? <laughs> Talk to me, okay, tell I, me when you see it. I have control I. I got Enter. It. Control I? What are you trying to italicize? Okay. We need more time. I'm gonna go by you sometime. Stick to the plan. Sacrificing his life to do what's right. Jensen is my hero, man. <laughs> Not that we're running away from Jensen. It's 3v1. This makes me so sad. What a good shot. What an amazing shot. Look at the tiny flames on his wrists because later he's gonna flamethrow them. Such a good attention to detail. Jensen! Watch out! Jensen saving Tony Stark's life again. Move with me. Come on, we got a plan. We're gonna stick to it. This was always the plan, Stark. <laughs> My family's dead. Uh, I'm going to see them now, Stark. Nah. Thank you for saving me. Oh, you're welcome, Tony. Don't waste your life. That line is so good. It killed me the first time when I watched it. And I was young when I watched it. But him saying, don't waste it, don't waste your life. So good. Oh, are you not inspired? I'm gonna cry. Get actually got, all right? He's a changed man. It must be hella hot in that suit too. The amount of heat that this fires probably, and he's covered in a bunch of iron, I'm assuming? I don't know. Don't tell me he didn't die from this fall. There's no way you didn't die from this fall. I don't care if it was sand. I don't care how strong your suit was. Brain damage, broken bones everywhere. Watch him, watch him throw up the peace sign. Watch him, it, it, just subtly bringing back the peace theme. So good, so good. They had to have done that intentionally, right? That'd be cool if like Tony Stark just improv that, but I don't think he did. There's no way you're walking right now, bro. In yeah. captivity for three months, there are two things I want to do. Three months? I want an American cheeseburger. You wish it was just one cheeseburger. Bro, cheeseburger sounds so good right now, actually. I want a burger and fries. I'm hungry. Look at this! Hey! Stop putting on the act, Obadiah. Look at him finishing a burger, and then he's gonna grab another burger. Watch. And also, the Burger King sponsorship. Do you have me one of those? Uh, there's only one right there. But there isn't. It's Fox. Yes. Let's put your phone Colson! We need to debrief Mr. Stark about the circumstances of his escape. I'll put something in the book, shall I? Potts is so sweet. I would have been like, get out of my face, sit down. down. Why don't you just sit, sit down? Why don't you sit that down? Way you can see that me way you can see me, I can, I can see you, and a little, little less formal. formal oh, I love that line so much. I don't know why. It's just so Tony Stark. He has another cheeseburger. It's, there wasn't only one left. I came to realize that I have more to offer this world than and just, making, just making things, things to blow, blow up. up. Effective immediately, I am shutting down the weapons manufactured division. So bold. Boom, a mic dropped, walking off the stage, and he's done. That's all he needed to say. And uh, he's healthier than ever. Healthier than ever. Man's got a broken arm in front of you. You know he's an ass when he drives one of those while smoking a cigar. You don't even have any safety on. No helmet. Did I just paint a target on the back of my head? Your head. What about my head? No one cares about your head. Clearly you don't care about your head. You're not wearing a helmet on that thing. <laughs> Could you 
Okay, you have a lousy poker knows. face. Just tell me, who told you? Pepper, it's Rody or Pepper. I want to see it. Okay, Rody. He doesn't want to blame it on Pepper. Does the Hindenburg ring any bells? This guy's voice is incredible. He should do voice acting. Maybe he does. You are the most capable, qualified, trustworthy person I've ever met. Hi! Oh, nothing, I'm just going into cardiac arrest. Isn't your heart stopped? Don't ever, ever, ever <laughs> ask me to do anything like that ever again. I, I, I don't have anyone but you. you. And then the whole proof that Tony Stark has a heart thing. What, you a humanitarian now or something? Is that such a bad thing, Rhodes? To not be a nice human being in society? What kind of keyboard symbols? Like, how is that any more efficient than a regular keyboard? That shot, though. They definitely had him pick it up that way. That is such an awkward way to pick it up, but they did it for the shot, which was which is nice, and seeing the sand go through it. But also, like, it's so unnatural. <gasps> the swipe transition. <laughs> I haven't seen that since the Star Wars commentaries that I've done. I know I promised I would stop the self-promos, but <laughs> it can't be helped. I must be stopped. Okay, let's do this right. You're a billionaire, and your camera looks like this, sir. What? Nothing like good slapstick humor. This is a flight stabilizer. It's completely harmless. I think you need to evaluate your definition of harmless. Just a little bit. Just gonna start off with 1% thrust capacity. That's 1%. No, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> yeah. I can fly. Sir, there are still terabytes of calculations needed. Sometimes you gotta run before you can walk. Just let him go for a little midnight flight? That rhymed. Why are you pushing the limits on this one? Why? Literally why? We accept Jarvis to point flaps! You wish Jarvis was working. But also if he didn't do this, then he wouldn't have learned and then use it again later. needs to pay for skydiving when you got the Iron Man suit. <laughs> what is this suit made out of? <laughs> Comedy comes in threes. Season three, episode one. We love a sentimental lady. Shall I render using proposed specifications? Thrill me. Thrill me. Literally feel like only Robert Downey Jr. can successfully say that phrase without it being awkward. Thrill me. Thrill me. Thrill me. Thrill me. <laughs> the great half. <gasps> Stan! <laughs> the ladies, too. I think I got the board right where we want them. You got it. Right. Got the board right where we want them, as in right where you want them, you shady OB. Ooh. We need to debrief you. There's still a lot of unanswered questions. They want. You got it. You're absolutely right. That's how you get Stark to say yes to something. Oh, it was a birthday present from, from, from you, actually. actually. I don't. I actually don't think that you could tie your shoes without me. I Facts. Think sure. What's your social security number? Five. 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 I got you for the other eight. I got you for the other eight. Oh, the one-liners between these two. Oh, it was so close. I need a drink. I would like a drink. Got it. I would like a, a vodka martini, please. Lots of olives. Olives, a lot of olives. At least three olives. At least three olives. Olives are very tasty. In case you didn't Is hear. this what you call accountability? It's a town called Gomira. <gasps> it's Jensen's hometown. If we're double dealing under the table, are we? Yes. Let's, Let's take a picture. A picture. Mm. My line game is, is still there. Still there. Just a little bit. Forced to join that militia. <laughs> Now I know what to do with my suit. Target practice, I guess? <laughs> That's where he got the pose. That's literally where he got it. It was just foreshadowing to this moment. <laughs> New and improved, dude. I'm really trying my hardest not to wake up my puppy next to me. It's been about an hour and a half now. It's actually too easy for Iron Man now. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. 
That's got to be my thumbnail, probably. Hopefully. Maybe. I don't know. Now, what am I supposed to tell the press? A uh, training exercise. Isn't that the usual BS? It's not that simple. An unfortunate training exercise. It's that simple. It is still unclear who or what intervened. I got one name for you, and it's OB. I was about to say Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> Obadiah. Let's face it, this is not the worst thing you've caught me doing. Don't even want to know what's the worst thing she's caught you doing. Compliments of Tony Stark. If you kill him when you were supposed to, you'd still have a face. Sure. Just trinkets to kill a prince. You guys are about to be donezo, like wiped out. He has made a masterpiece of death. A man with a dozen of these can rule all of Asia. Not again with him trying to rule the world. We love someone who dreams big, I guess. <laughs> I will give you these designs as a gift. And in turn, I hope you'll repay me with the gift of iron soldiers. <laughs> you wish. <laughs> oh, oh god, oh my gosh, why is your veins turning like that? Like you actually thought, if he paid you only a little bit to kill Tony Stark, you think he was gonna gift you iron soldiers to quote unquote rule the world? I've been dealing under the table and I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna find my weapons destroy them i cannot help you if you're going to start all of this again start what there's the He's next done. mission and nothing else gosh oh she quits right well then i quit and now that i'm trying to protect the people that i put in harm's way you're going to walk out you're going to kill yourself tony she cares about you i shouldn't be alive unless it was for a reason don't waste it don't waste your life man don't waste your life can i have my job back you're all i have too you know you're all I have too. I need a Pepper Potts backstory right now. Does, do any of you guys know it? Do we have a Pepper Potts origin story? Tony Stark did it in a cave with a box of scraps. Tony Stark was able to build this in a cave with a box, box of scraps. scraps. I need to not wake up my puppy. So yeah. many applications for causing short-term paralysis. Short-term paralysis? Bro, he's like, if you guys can't make it smaller, I'm just going to steal it from Tony. You really think that just because you have an idea, it belongs to you? That's how the world works? It's called the copyright laws, man? Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, I know. I created it, dog. The balance of power in our hands. The right hands. No, you're the wrong hands. Dirty, dirty hands. My stomach is growling so loud, guys. I'm so hungry. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, he's in- How is your heart beating? I thought you were in cardiac arrest earlier without it. I might need a pause. But dummy to the freaking rescue? We're pausing. Gotta tend to my doggo. We will finish this in a moment, all right? Do you guys want to say hi? One second. I was so close to finishing too. Oh, but you were so good though. Say hi to the commentary. He's like, please take me to pee right now. I need to go. <laughs> Hello, I don't want to get wake up on your, on your fur. All right, time to go guys. He's teething, oh God. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Dude, please. Okay, I'm going. I'm, we're going. <sighs> okay, I'm back. Okay, let's finish. <laughs> Good boy. Dummy to the rescue! Thank goodness. Oh my god, I can yell now because he's not in his crate and I don't have to wake him up. Just in time for the final battle, too. Stupid Obadiah with your freaking uh, uh, thingies with the, the arc reactor stealing it because you're your people and you aren't smart enough to make it by yourself. You got nothing on Tony, okay? Tony! Tony! <coughs> Where's Pepper? She's fine. She's with five agents. They're about to arrest Obadiah. Shield allowed to make arrests? I guess so. Strategic homelands. Ooh, dude. Next, Next time, time, baby. So who built his suit is the real question. <laughs> no, scary. Actually terrifying. But look at her running in her heels. Like she's able to run away from that huge, ginormous, iron, brolic dude in heels. That's a different type of skill. 
The suits of 48% power and falling sub. 48%? You got time. I'm literally one of those people that literally don't charge their phones until it hits 1%. Where do you think you're going? Away from you, you bully. Services are no longer required. Bro, is that really necessary? With the freaking machine gun arm? You have an entire huge suit. Now it reduced to 19%. 19? All right, that's a little concerning. Nothing is gonna stand in my way. Except for Tony Stark. Ha ha ha. Hoo, 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 hoo. <gasps> oh. Yeah. That was a little much. Talk about extra. Yeah, can you fly? Oh wait, yes he can. Yeah, you're super slow though. Oh? Ow? This suit is more advanced in every way. How'd you solve the icing problem? Oh, I was so close. All right, now go please, you have no battery. Ow? So what is this building made out of that he doesn't go straight through the floor? This is Mark III. Maybe he solved the issue with- Oh, God! Very clever, Tony. Clever's my middle name. I'm gonna have to overload the reactor and blast the roof. Well, how are you gonna do that? You're gonna, You're gonna do, do it. it. Yeah! Girl's still in her heels. Going to roof buy some time. Oh, him buying time for her, too. Reminds me of Jensen. I'm gonna go buy you some time. This looks important! <laughs> Pretty important. Pretty important. You finally outdid yourself, Tony. You made your father proud. Don't talk to me about my father. Trying to rid the world of weapons. You gave him his best one ever. Oh, that's such a good line. Time to hit the button. Oh, still, you little. Who are you calling up? Do it. You die. Bro, it's so good. Push it. How's Pot's not dead, though? Come on. Tell me. And not Obadiah listening to all of this and yet so distracted that he didn't run away. Get correct. That's literally what you get. Like, Tony should be goners right now. Oh, but the subtle twinkling of the light, it's such a good way to show it. Why add the pepper track saying Tony, though? That has bothered me since the first time I watched it. Like, why did they add that? They didn't need to. I mean, man, that's kind of catchy. It's not technically accurate. This suit's a gold titanium alloy. He answered my question from earlier. That's what happened. All right. Just read it word for word. Thank you very much for all of your help. Ha! <laughs> Well, Tony's about to blow it all right now. Mr. Stark has prepared a statement. He will not be taking any questions. Rooftop. I'm sorry, Several. Mr. Stark, but do you- Bro, they said no questions. Shut up, Everhart. Or insinuate that I'm uh, a superhero. I so never said you're a superhero. Well, good, because that would be outlandish. Uh, fantastic. Fantastic. Here we go. I am Iron Man. <laughs> it's so good. The line that sparked it all, y'all. And Robert Downey Jr. was made for that role, for Tony Stark. I loved the, the way that they shot this. Definitely different from the very big spectacular stuff that we see now in the MCU. So it gives like this nostalgic feel to it. I love the handheld shots. I love the way that they utilize the music. What was your favorite part of this movie? What's your favorite MCU hero? Leave it down in the comment section below because I really genuinely want to know. Tell me why, give me all the details. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed that commentary, make sure to leave it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't yet already so you can stay tuned to all of my content and don't forget to check out my last video. If you guys want to check out the full length commentary to this movie, make sure you guys check out my Patreon page to gain access to this and to future movie slash TV show commentaries that I do on this channel. Alrighty y'all, have the best day ever and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Okay, bye, okay, bye, okay, bye!